Cincinnati Bengals will be road favorites. Shout out to those Cincinnati Bengals on the road against Dan Campbell's Detroit Lions. I feel bad for the Lions, too. I feel bad that they're 0-5. Dan Campbell was crying after this game. The guy is such an like, aggressive and emotional head coach. To see him crying... I was like, dude, this guy is 0-5 and Urban Meyer is 0-5. And Urban Meyer could not care less about the team that he's coaching. And this guy cares all the world. And he still is finding new ways to lose on a weekly basis. That's tough. Yeah. And then on the flip end, you have the Cincinnati Bengals who are playing some really solid football and are really kind of taking a lot of people by surprise in the AFC North. I'm going to go a little bit of a surprise here. I'm going to take the Detroit Lions at home to get their season right. I hate to pick against one of our Ohio teams. I hate to pick against the Cincinnati Bengals. We had some angry people. We was all tied up. You just trying to throw it off a little bit. We had the people. We had some people in the YouTube comments get a little angry at both of us, Phil, because we both picked the Packers last week, and they said the Packers with some of the Bengals secondary. I hear you. The Bengals got a good defense. They got a good offense. I think they should have been worried about their kick. (laughs) funny how the comments did not did not take that into account i'm gonna go against cincinnati again maybe fueled by some of those mean commenters but give me the detroit lions at home getting their first win of the season yeah i'm gonna go with a uh that's gonna be my lock of the week i'm going with the Bengals on this one wow So what is it about Cincinnati this year? Because they've had, you know, a big, a bounce back in a big way. Obviously the biggest thing is their quarterback, right? Mm -hmm. That helps when you get your guy healthy and you have him protected a little bit better, but it seems like Cincinnati, they're humming and a lot of things are going the, the right way. Like you said, All it took was Evan McPherson to make the kick that he thought he made, and then uh, they win that football game, do do the Bengals, and, you know, they were sitting here really looking pretty, but... I just feel like they're hungry, man. The Bengals are hungry. So so are the Browns, but so so is everybody really in the AFC North except the Steelers. And I feel as though, like, everybody's been living under the shadow of the Steelers in the AFC North, and it's now on a flipped, you know what I'm saying, it's flipped. So it's like fair game for everybody. It's like everybody's doing good but the Steelers. You know what I mean? So, I mean, it's awesome. But at the same time, you know, it's just going to make it tougher. You know what I mean? So I'm going to still go. I'm going to go with the Bengals, like I said, and that's going to be my lock of the week. It's one of those old sayings that, like, in, in business, like, competition drives results. And we've oh, seen yeah. it in the AFC North that now the big brother is having a little bit of a rough patch. And, the you know, the Pittsburgh Steelers are pushed a little bit down. Mm-hmm. Uprise the Cleveland Browns. Uprise the Cincinnati Bengals and the Baltimore Ravens out of the ashes.